Don't forget the chops, will you? What? Don't forget the chops. Just enough for me and you. What oh, about Terry and Vicky? Is she going to be here again? Very eating out. <laughs> it's all right for some. Oh, we could eat out. Too tired. You just got out of bed. I don't feel like eating out. I'll get some chops. When are you going to make a move? A day off. I told you last night. A day off? Is Terry having a day off too? Yeah, we work the weekends too, you know. You're not the only one. So what are you going to do with yourself? Great idea. How about you ringing in sick and us going out for the day somewhere? Don't be so stupid. Oh, come on, Sam. What's the arm in one day? Because I'm a bit more responsible when it comes to work than you are. I just have to find something else to do. Like what? Well, you've unwrapped these, put them up. Oh, well, that's great, that is. Should take all the ten minutes, shouldn't it? It was your idea to get the shelves in the first place. What do you mean? It was yours. Oh, who cares? Oh, come on, Sam. You know it was. You said you were sick of seeing a book stacked up on the floor and you wanted them on the shelves. Just put them up, will you? Oh, what's the matter with you, then, eh? Nothing, should there be? Is it work again? You got problems at work? Well, I will have if I don't get there. You sure? I'm away. See you. Bye. <sighs> yeah, see ya. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hi, I watched this. Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten. You do this every year and I never believe you. <laughs> Honest, I have, but uh, thank you just the same. One from our Karen. Oh, lovely. Where is she having a lie in? No, not today. She's up and out. Love to meet that fella guy. Will only be on for the holidays? Oh, well, staying up for Easter, so she says. He must be keen, mustn't he? Hmm? Unless our Karen's got him under the thumb already. <laughs> I don't know about that. What are you doing? Getting this work done here. Got a meeting in Warrington later on, so I thought I'd skip the office, get away from the phone, and get some real work done. And read your birthday card. And read my birthday cards. I'm not forgetting this one as well. Ah, thanks, Nidia. Eh, yeah. sorry I never got you nothing but I'm skins. Don't be worrying about it, lad. I wasn't expecting anything. I will do, though, you know, when I'm in the morning. Oh, why, when you're working full time, eh? The man in the money, there'll be a rise in your keep and all. Oh, that's all right. You can have 20 quid if you like. Oh, listen to him, lots of the big spenders. What time's your interview with Halligan? Eh, uh, 11 o'clock. Well, do you want to see how it goes before you start talking about money? Oh, don't worry about that. The wages are sound. I'm doing with the girl. My age, I get £64.15 a week, plus a guaranteed £10 bonus. Mm, sounds good. And I wear to come when I'm skint, eh? <laughs> oh, ah, yeah. Ted says we're on for loads of ovaries as well. Got a new contract, painting the schools. Can't be bad. Have you seen the time? You're not the managing director yet, you know. You better get weaving. Oh, God, yeah. I don't want to say I'm bun timekeeper. Not today, anyway. See ya. <laughs> See ya, love. That seems a decent enough firm, doesn't it? I think that Ted Cook's taking a real shine to him. You're going to open your present. It is, um, It is just the one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, love. For a man your age, you haven't done too bad. All right. Hi, Dave. Oh, hey, look. Can I ask you uh, a favour? Well, it depends what it is, really, doesn't it? I tell you what, see, this is great. Right up my street, this. Yeah. I sneak to look at it myself. I was suggested you might like it. How oh, does he know what I like? He doesn't. Well, I thought you just said he suggested it. For God's sake, love, I asked him if he could recommend a book about the history of the trade unions. Oh, it's great, isn't it? When your own wife's got to ask the likes of him what to buy her husband for his birthday. It wasn't like that. Look, I could have bought you a new shirt or a pair of socks. I just wanted to buy you something different for a change. Alan's a lecturer. He knows what's what. He just recommended it, that's all. Well, couldn't you just pick something yourself? Oh, like Janet Hansen did for you last year. You didn't mind her buying you a book. Bob, don't spoil it. You said you liked it. Where are you going? Warrington, I told you. I thought you were going to be here all morning. Yeah. Well, I've done what I wanted to do. You said you were going to mind Claire for me. I've got to go to work. And I've got to go down the centre. I've got to pick up a reading list. Well, that's all right. Take Claire with you. Look, I wanted a natter as well. You know, it's part of the course, meeting people. Oh, like Alan Jones, you mean? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Didn't mean it. You never miss a chance, do you, to make a remark about him? He's a good teacher, that's all. And that's all there is between him and anybody else on that course. If you want to worry about that sort of thing, don't look at me. Look at your best mate. What? Matty? Yes, Matty. If anybody's carrying on with somebody they've just met, it's him, him and that Mo Francis. Oh, behave. Bob, I'm worried about him. Look, just because they're working together on a project doesn't mean I have to carry it on. 
Look, when we were told to pair off, I wanted to go with Matty. Before I had a chance to open my mouth, he was over there, standing next to her, practically holding her hand. Yeah, well, don't you say anything, all right. Oh, how can I? Well, don't. He's having it bad enough being out of work, isn't he? And besides, it was me and you who recommended him to go on the course. Oh, come on. He's old enough to make his own decisions. Oh, who's that? Hi, Sheila. Hello, love. Just had a word with your Damon, and he said I might be out of bar his dad's drill. Oh, right. You better come in, then. Cheers. Bob, where's the drill? In the back kitchen cupboard. Hmm. Hi, Bob. Oh, all right, yeah. No work today. Oh, just stay off. I'm sticking some shells up. Sounders job creation scheme keep me out of trouble. <laughs> hey, Olive. Oh, cheers, Sheila. Are you busy? Yeah. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. I know what you mean. What about this babysitting? I can't mind her. You got a babysitting problem? Hmm. Well, say no more, Sheila. I'm your man. Are you busy? Well, oh, yeah, but I'd sooner look after your Claire than stick up shells any day. <laughs> Sheila. Are you sure? Yeah, I'd love to. Where is she? Well, she's asleep, and if you're lucky, she'll be asleep for another half hour. Oh, well, I'm off. Hey, are you going to give me a lift? If you'll do yourself off. Are you sure about this? Look, it's no problem. I love looking after my sister's kids. She's got three of them. This might be away for a couple of hours, but I'll be back to give her a dinner. Yeah, all right. Hey, I just hope she's in a better mood than your old man. Mm. Don't let Bobby call him old. He's 49 today. Ah, that's what's wrong with him, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, love. All right. Very great. Yeah, see you later. What sort of fellas he to be looking after the baby? It's all right. Seems to quite like the idea. Yeah, well, it seems to me you're more interested in spying on Matty than you are about who minds are clear. All right. Oh, hi there. Hi. Uh, sit down, Damon. Sorry to keep you hanging about. It's all right. Just been looking at some of your handiwork. Yeah? Yeah. That job at the old swimming baths. You were on that, weren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Finished last Friday. Yeah. It's a nice job. Difficult, but well done. Mm. You like the work, do you? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Twelve months, eh? It's flown by, hasn't it? Seems to have, yeah. They go by damn sight faster than all two when you get to my age. <laughs> Still, it's better than going to school, though, I suppose, eh? <laughs> I think it's better than going to school. Oh, no, I didn't... Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, sorry, right, so I know what you mean. Yeah, Ted tells me you get on pretty well with the other blokes. I'm pleased about that. The lumber I've had over the years with fellas always at each other's throats. Yeah, a bit of harmony makes all the difference in a small outfit like this. In fact, uh, Ted doesn't seem to have a word to say against you. He's written this. It's a reference. We have to do this for all you YTS lads. Yeah, it's a good one, though. Listen. Air two with may concern, blah, blah, blah. Damon Grant has worked under my supervision for the past 12 months. In that time, I found him keen and willing to learn. His work has been a very high standard for a young man, and I've found him to be punctual, honest, and polite at all times. I would recommend him to any employer as an apprentice painter. Hey, I told it was, yeah, it was a good one, didn't I? I don't see many like that. Thanks for not letting us down, son. Yeah, so was a risk taking on you YTS lads. But uh, I had a feeling when I first met you that you'd do all right. Well, uh, Damon, congratulations. And thank you. Uh, you better hang on to this. You put your head at the rest. Well, uh, son, there's uh, work to be done, people to see, so I'll just wish you all the best and say goodbye. It's been a pleasure to know you. You're not taking me on. I have no money for that, son. No, you YTS lads, you come for a year and that's it. Okay. Apply to a bigger firm. Show them that reference. I'll see you. Right, yes, lad. Yeah. Well, whatever he tells you in there, about you being kept on if you believe him. All right. right. I hope you didn't mind. Oh, 
it's a pleasure, Sheila. She was as good as gold. Thanks ever so much. All right, I'll see you. See you, love. All right, Dave. God, it's your job, isn't it? <laughs> you sacked me. They give me that. They sacked me. Sacked you? <laughs> I thought I was going to get it. I really thought it was going to be okay. You didn't do anything wrong, did you, love? <laughs> what do you mean? Did I do it? Really fast? How could I have done anything wrong? They just wouldn't take me up. This says you're good, one of the best. That doesn't matter. They don't care. They just want 12 months out of you, then they couldn't care less. Love, I know it's rotten, but you can't go getting yourself like this. I worked like night for them. I worked days and then now too. I worked overtime and I didn't get a penny for it. I just wanted a job. Oh. <laughs> I know. You, you could still get a job. Oh, where are they? Well, this is a good reference. It is, love. It's good. Oh, it's not worth not love them. I'm always going to stay on the doll. Oh, love, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, what do you think of this, then? Well, they've used at me, Paulie Yates, please. Star Jane will stay. Oh, just think. A few more of these, and when I get my degree, they'll be killing each other to give me a job. <gasps> what did I say? It's only me, Damon. My mum's told me, and I'm sorry that I'd shoot my mouth off. Nah. I made up about that magazine. Thanks. Damon, I wanted to tell you not to count on getting that job by building your hopes up. You just seem so sure. I just didn't want to say anything. Ah, oh, well. I suppose I'm not the only one that's happened to it. No. But you've had a bit of experience now, haven't you? I mean, it's like me getting me piece printed. It all helps. No. It's not a proper apprenticeship. It's not worth not enough, then. Never heard you come in. Not surprised all that, right? <laughs> That's the cockade. What do you mean? They're spot on them. Don't know. That bracket thing will have to be moved up. Come off it. They will. Well, if you can't do them, perhaps I could. <sighs> all right, so I'm no expert. I'll do the job, say. Well, you have got them. Forgot. Oh, well, that's not much to ask, is it? Get a few chops. I forgot. Anyone could do it. Well, we just have to make do with what there is then, won't we? Yeah, well, you've had nothing to do all day. You could have got them. <sighs> one in the eye for the editor. Yeah, one in the eye for the editor. And you. What? Well, you didn't think I could do it, remember? Oh, I was just keeping you on your toes. Hmm. Are you pleased for me? Yes, I am. Well, just you wait, Lan, the new Julie Birchall, NME, new statesman, you name it. Just don't get too confident, OK? Well, you can't be too confident. Right, look at your Damon. Huh. Well, Damon says he doesn't want his tea. Maybe he'll eat something later on, eh? How is he? Down. Really down. Still, what can you expect? Guy likes my article. Oh, dear. Great. I'm going to settle down and read that myself later on. Uh don't be too eager, Mrs Grant. Her head's getting bigger by the minute. Thank you. Do you want to stay for some tea, love? It's only stew, but you're very welcome. Um, gosh, thanks, but uh, I said uh, we were going to meet some friends. They've got a flat, and uh, they said we could eat there. Oh, some other time, then. Thanks. What friends? Hello, Chuck. Hello, lad. Hey, Hi. Dad. Happy birthday. Oh, and thank you for the card, my little chucky oh. egg. <laughs> they have to keep it in mind of how old I'm getting. Come on, you're only 49, aren't you? Ah! Ah! Don't tell anybody! Right, have a read about one. Very nice. Never mind that now, love, eh? Oh, yeah. We'll get off, shall we? Yeah. yeah.
See you, kid. See you later. Nothing wrong with this, she? It's about our Damon. He didn't get the job. You've only been here a few weeks, and you've changed. You've gone all moody. I haven't. Oh, come on, Sen, it's obvious. You've gone and forgot the chops. Can't you just drop that? Yeah, all right, but it's not like you, is it? Is it something at work? No. Well, is it something I've done? No. Well, it's got to be one or the other. Is it working on the private? No. Can't you just leave me? Look, Sam, when it was me, you and Kate, it was always you that argued most against private medicine. I mean, you even spoke about it at the hospital, too. Are you getting a hassle there? Are you sure? Look, I like my work. I've got more chance to do things, more facilities. I even like the patients. I do. Come on, let's just eat. He can't get it out of his head that they've sacked him. I know it keeps unemployment figures down, but it gives kids like him false hope, doesn't it? Hey, can't be right. Yeah. I think I'll get him to start writing round again. Good idea. I don't want him going down the neck. I know what it's like. I'll get it. <sighs> now it's seven five. Hello, Teresa. Matty. No, he's not ill. Well, um, you know what they're like when they get together. They probably won't be on for hours. Wish Bob had told me he was going out drinking. Oh. All right, love. Yeah, all right, yeah. If he shows up here, I'll send him straight home. Okay. Bye, Teresa. What was all that about? Matty's only gone and told Teresa he's out celebrating your birthday. Oh. She wants to know what time she should put his tea on. Hey? Now, do you see what I mean? Oh, not that again, she. She's probably got it all mixed up. Be something simple like that. Oh, yeah. Dead simple. Like being out with that flaming Mo Francis. What are you staring at? I've just seen my dad's best mate, Matty, in the other bar. You never cracked on. Oh, don't worry. Probably couldn't see you. Anyway, it's the dinner you said your mates were going to do us. Oh, I have apologised for that. You yeah, haven't explained that. Well, isn't it obvious? No. Well, I wanted us to be together, not sitting with your mum and dad. Even if it did mean turning down what smelt like a smashing pot of stew. Mm -hmm. Come in, lad. All right, Bobby, lad. Happy birthday. Cheers. Hiya, she. Hey, yeah, lad. A little something to celebrate your birthday, you know. I'll get you. Sound. I've just got a couple of glasses. No, never mind that. Where have you left her then? She where? Uh, what? You know what I mean. I'm not with you, she. I don't mean Teresa either, because she's just been on the phone wondering where you were, seeing as you were supposed to be drinking with Bob. Oh, look, it's not what you might think it is, she, you know, honest. Come on, she. What's going on then? Well. Well, if it's not work, there's nothing I've done, what is it? Nothing. Oh, come on, Sam. We're supposed to be a couple, aren't we? I mean, how can we be if we don't we talk about these things? You know, I reckon we used to talk more. But, yeah, be before we got together. Come on, Sam, what is wrong with you? I know there's something. I think I might be pregnant. Just out of lucky. Oh, that's brilliant! We were down at the Picton Library, that's all. Working on the project. So why did you have to lie to Teresa? I had to, Sheila. Why? Because she's jealous, that's why. She thinks there's more than studying going on, doesn't she? Eh? Uh, I mean, I couldn't just walk out and say, I'm going down to the library with Mo. God, she wouldn't let me out the house. It still doesn't give you the right to go telling all sorts of lies to Teresa involving me and Bob. I had to lie for you when she phoned up. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. 
Yeah, so am I. Oh, I've got things to do. I better get going as well, mate. Yeah. All right, Miss. Yeah, I love. Hang on to them. Thanks, Pop. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry about it. All right, Jay, I know what you're going to say, but he's probably right. I mean, Theresa was terrible jealous even when you were caught. You must remember that yourself. I just think it's despicable the way he's using you as a... like a criminal. As an alibi. Well, I think you're making too much out of it. Am I? I know you weren't too good at the time, but look at the reaction I had off you over the Janet Hansen one. And the reaction I've had off you over Alan Jones. Well, I don't think Matty is carrying on. I know Matty. And I know he's gone behind Teresa's back. Fly me out, Amy, Mr. Chance of a job today, and you're worried about night school gossip. It may be gossip to you, Bob, but I've seen them together. It's been weeks since we um, decided. I know. It'll be quiet in hall with everyone away almost. There won't be any interruptions. Is that why you spirited me away from home? Well, yeah, partly. You're not annoyed, are you? Not tonight, though. Why? I don't know. Our Damon not getting the job and everything. I don't feel good. You could just stay over. You're not annoyed, are you? No. I will soon. Of course I'm pleased. Why shouldn't I be pleased? Come on, I'll make us another cup of coffee. My old man had service when he was my age. Just you wait till I tell him. Happy, Mum. Pat, I'd rather you didn't. Oh, God, no, you want to tell your mum first, won't you? Look, Pat, I'm only two weeks late. Well, the later the better, eh? No need to babysit for the neighbours now, Sam. We'll have our own, won't we? 